one of the most remote regions in the continental United States is Michigan's Upper Peninsula, the UP, as it is called by its natives. French voyageurs came in the 1660s and stayed to trap its fur-bearing animals. Two centuries later, armies of lumberjacks were drawn by vast stands of virgin pine, while immigrants from all the nations of Europe came to mine its copper and iron ore. Boom and bust country, they called it, the legacy and the curse of a remote extractive economy. As each wave of extraction subsided, it left behind a few stubborn survivors who had seen something that made them want to stay. Well, this is where I'm the closest to my, the great spirit. I'm closer, I feel closer to him out here. Okay, I've heard the phrase, good man in the woods, and that meant that he was a good all-around woodsman, that uh, he really knew his stuff, and, and he could, you know, he could lead other men. It's a rugged way to make a living, but there's something to do in this area. Either farm, cut wood, or fish. I've never had any kind of arthritis or aches or pains. I could sleep like a baby and eat like a horse. And uh, I just blame that on hard work and simple living. That's, that's what it amounts to. You know, you're, we always joke among ourselves. We say, well, at least we work for ourselves. You know, we are our own bosses. I work for myself. I'm my own boss. And I really work for an SOB. <laughs> <laughs> I've always told these young fellows that when you're young, you've got to blaze your own trail. You've got to blaze a trail and stick with that trail all your life. You only have one grandson. I have only one son. I asked him, and I said, what are you going to do when you grow up? I'm going to be a fisherman. And I felt so proud. I, I guess maybe that's the way our dad felt about us, to see that we would continue. Oh, that's a huge son of a gun. Wow. That's one of the biggest I've caught in a long time. You ever find it lonely out here in the nah. world? Nah. Shit. <laughs> lonely. Shit. The man's out, out doing something, you ain't going to get lonely. God almighty. That's one thing when you live like that, you don't fear death. A lot of people are afraid of dying. But uh, you get an inner feeling when you get older and you realize, just like trees, in the woods, you look at them, a good, healthy tree, and if you see that tree every year, first thing you know, you see that tree is ready to die. So it comes on you that uh, you're not afraid of death. You're, you're waiting for your time that you've got to go just like trees do and anything. A flower blossoms and dies, and leaves come on a tree and fall down. You, this, these things got all something to do with with the span of life. 